Hey guys, and we could be see here again with another nice review. Yes, behind on video, so I'm getting through the line. Just finished out the bug review. This is a gift from a cousin of mine. Um, <clears throat> uh, my, <laughs> uh, why can't I talk or think today? My birthday was 10 days ago, so that's why I got it. The CKRT M16 10KZ. <clears throat> this is the EDC model with a Tanto blade with parcel serrations, which I hate. However, on this knife, I'll accept it. <clears throat> you get a good enough cutting edge, and um, honestly, I look for Tanto blades a lot. But. I can usually let them find them in quarter serrations. So, it works though. So nothing to gripe about. <clears throat> What's, uh, what I really like about this is CKRT's auto lock system. So when you fold this knife, when you use a flipper, a thumb stud, whatever your preference is, when you fold it out, you can't just release it with the line to lock. So that's locked in there really good. You can try as hard as you can and it's just not going to fail on you. <clears throat> To release the auto locks, you basically push down this little red button back here, and then you move down, <clears throat> you move the liner lock over, and you close the knife, of course. It is a AUS 4 steel, uh, coated in black, which um, I really like my Tanto Blaze in black. <clears throat> and, uh,. It's another issue, finding black coated plain edge tanto blades is kind of hard. Uh, the Griptilian I want to get, they have none coated in black with a plain edge. Again, quarter serrations, fun, but what you going to do? Uh, it's a Zytel handle, which is really nice. For being a small, kind of a small tactical folder, it can fit in the hands really nice. <clears throat> uh, even if this were to close on you, somehow magically this breaks which is I really fail to see how but uh, some magical way this fails on you and the knife is about to close on you it's not <clears throat> no I don't think so so most it's gonna do is this your finger is gonna be blocking this and that's gonna keep the blade from closing on you even more so uh, if you want a good safe utility knife get this uh, let me pull this out really quick. With uh, CKRT, you get the little pocket catalog thingy. And you guys can see this. I don't know if you're able to or not. Uh, no. Okay. Well, basically, <clears throat> let me just explain it then. They do two different blade varieties. They do the Tanto, and they also do the uh, the regular spear point blade. Which, uh, honestly, is just some preference. Like I say, I prefer Tanto. Some may prefer spear point. Also depends on what you do. Uh, Tanto works for me. Spear point, I just don't really like. It's not very appealing to me. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's see. The Columbia River M16 10KZ. It also has a U.S. patent number 5596808, which I don't know if that's an actual patent number. I would hope not. Just putting random numbers on a blade. That would just be odd. But you know, whatever. Uh, some people with issues. They say that the thumb, uh, huh, thumb stud. Oh, let's talk about that issue first. These thumb studs will come loose. Not that they'll, like, come off, but they roll around. So if you have issues with that, uh, <clears throat> you might want to take that into consideration. Uh, when you have it locked in this, uh, in the open position, they don't roll around as much. It's not much of an issue. But if you're trying to open it and you got them rolling all over the place. It's kind of hard. <clears throat> but the pivot screw, that's what I meant to say. The pivot screw, some people say, comes loose. Um, honestly, there's nice enough jimping on... <laughs> which is kind of funny. I don't know why they put that on there. But there's jimping on the pivot screw itself. So you can just really just adjust it yourself. And it's, it's really simple. And uh, useful, I must say. <clears throat> so if, even if that comes loose on you, you're going to be able tighten it yourself without having to use a uh, flathead. Uh, another complaint I've heard about it is that these scales will come loose. I haven't had that issue yet, but I haven't really put this under hard use because this is kind of, uh, I don't know, 
That's not one of those knives I'm going to do hard tasks with. <clears throat> Although it could, it definitely has potential. I mean, uh, you're looking at pretty much a fixed blade. That blade's locked in so nice. Uh, retails, $40. Oh, not going to fix. I give up with this camera. Uh, retails $40, got this on sale for about 15 bucks. So you can find them really dirt cheap on sale. It's uh, it's awesome. Definitely pick one up if you find it. Um, again, Columbia River M1610KZ. Uh, favorite knife of EDC this for a while. Uh, plan on changing it up once I get a new knife. Don't know what that's going to be yet. Money's tight with uh, me trying to get tactical gear and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks guys. Peace.